This short animated video introduces radiation therapy or radiotherapy, a widely used treatment for cancer. We hope it will answer some questions and initial concerns. However, it shouldn't replace advice from a clinical care team. Let's get started. Around half of all cancer patients receive some form of radiotherapy. How well it works, of course, varies from person to person. 40% of all patients cured of their cancer will have received radiotherapy as part of their curative treatment. And 16% of all cures can be attributed entirely to radiotherapy. The aim of radiotherapy is simple, to destroy cancer cells, leaving normal healthy cells unaffected. Cancer cells are more vulnerable than normal cells and we exploit this through treatment by carefully planning and targeting the area to be treated. Radiotherapy can be given from outside the body, known as external beam radiotherapy. It can also be given from within the body, known as brachytherapy. Some people with cancer benefit from both. External beam radiotherapy typically uses high-energy X-rays given from a machine called a linear accelerator, and these X-rays destroy the cancer cells. With brachytherapy, radioactive material is given from within the body. In this animation, we'll be focusing on external beam radiotherapy. Let's look at some of the technology. It may come as a surprise, but radiotherapy is not a new treatment. It's been used to treat people for around 100 years but the last 20 years or so have seen huge technological improvements. The side effects from treatment are also now well understood and better managed. Most importantly, the results or outcomes from treatment have also improved with reduced side effects. New forms of radiotherapy can now more accurately target the affected area, killing fewer healthy cells. This accuracy also means that higher doses can be given safely if required. The latest technology includes Image-guided radiotherapy. This involves collecting images to check a tumor's position before treatment is given. With IGRT, the risk of part of the tumor being missed by the X-ray beams is reduced. Intensity-modulated radiotherapy. This specialized way is now used to treat many different types of cancer. IMRT is a way of the radiographer molding and varying the strength of each beam to match the size, shape and position of the tumour and can do this more precisely than conventional or conformal radiotherapy. This allows the treatment to be just as effective while reducing the side effects. Volumetric modulated arc therapy is a new type of intensity modulated radiotherapy. It works by delivering a continuous beam of radiotherapy while the machine is moving, changing the beam shape and treatment dose automatically as it moves. Stereotactic ablative radiotherapy delivers a focused and very high dose of radiotherapy to a tumor in fewer sessions, offering some patients longer disease and symptom control. It is also sometimes used where surgery isn't an option. Surface Guided Radiotherapy SGRT uses sophisticated 3D camera technology to accurately target treatment. It does this by continuously and accurately monitoring a patient's position during treatment, using the surface of the patient to do this. Without SGRT, people generally need tattoos to line up the beams, but SGRT can mean there's no need for permanent tattoo markers, and this can be of great psychological benefit for people who just want to get on with their lives, without a permanent reminder of their treatment. As well as radiotherapy being used as a standalone treatment, you may hear the terms neoadjuvant radiation and adjuvant treatment. Neoadjuvant radiation is radiotherapy used before surgery to reduce the size of a tumor, making it easier to remove. Adjuvant therapy is used after surgery to destroy any remaining cancer cells. When combined with chemotherapy, treatment is called chemoradiation. In some cases, radiotherapy can cure cancer by destroying a tumor. This is known as curative or radical treatment. In other cases, it won't cure cancer, but will successfully slow its progress, relieve symptoms and help people feel better. This is known as palliative treatment. Your care team will talk you through the treatment plan recommended by your consultant oncologist and explain how it will be given. Radiotherapy tends not to be given as a one-off dose, instead being given as separate treatments or fractions over several days or weeks. Your oncologist will tell you how many times and how often you'll need to attend the radiotherapy center. 
Like all cancer treatments, radiotherapy does have some side effects. These affect people differently, so it's hard to predict how your body may respond. Side effects are normally localized to the area of the body that is being treated. These will be discussed with you by your doctor prior to commencing treatment. The good news is that the majority of side effects can be managed and will disappear when treatment stops. There are many misconceptions around radiotherapy. Let's take a look at some. It causes hair loss on the head. Unlike chemotherapy, radiotherapy will not cause hair loss unless treatment is directed to the head. It's painful. When receiving treatment, most people experience nothing more serious than a tingling sensation and slight warming of the skin. After multiple treatments, the skin around the site may feel sore and look red. This is completely normal and will resolve. It makes you radioactive. In fact, external beam radiotherapy doesn't make you radioactive. The radiation passes through your body, so when treatment has finished, you can go home. Today, radiotherapy is used to target many of the 200 and more types of cancer, including breast and prostate cancer. Other than surgery, radiotherapy remains the most effective type of cancer treatment.